G'day, my name is Karen and today I would like to save you over $4,000 per respiratory failure patient by sharing a presentation on the utility of Bosniac CPAP in pre-hospital care. Firstly, what is pre-hospital care? Any health care provided prior to admission to a hospital. Secondly, why would any clinician want to initiate Bosniac CPAP? CPAP has proven to be very effective for ventilation support, preventing intubations and associated complications. Very few pre-hospital centres or ambulances have the luxury of expensive, bulky, complicated equipment and trained staff. And yet, early intervention results in decreased respiratory distress, faster stabilisation, prevention of deterioration, and may prevent admission to expensive care units. This video provides convincing evidence of the value of CPAP, the sooner the better, preferably in the pre-hospital arena. Here we see lungs ventilated both with and without continuous pressure. To begin with, there is no CPAP, and you can see there is extensive atelectasis. As we apply CPAP, with each succeeding breath, you can see the lungs are becoming more and more inflated until finally full recruitment is achieved. Notice that recruitment is not instantaneous but takes place over a period of time. After we eliminate CPAP, you can see the lungs almost immediately begin to collapse. Then, with each breath, there remains significant atelectasis. The Bosniak CPAP system was first used in 1973 on Boeing 707 crash victims suffering severe respiratory distress from smoke inhalation transported to Henry Mondor Hospital in Paris where inventor anesthesiologist Dr Georges Bosniak was in charge of the intensive care unit. He secured plastic bags over the victims' heads and supplied high flow oxygen with low pressure inside the bags with an outlet hose in an 8 to 10 centimetre column of water. The system maintained pressure against airway structures, keeping them open to facilitate a reduction in the work of breathing. Bosniak CPAP can be rapidly administered in the pre hospital environment to support ventilation and prevent deterioration. Bosniak CPAP works the same way as the turbines of a jet engine. The Bosniak valve takes gas from a single source and splits it to create four high flow jets. These jets travelling at the speed of sound converge in the chamber creating turbulence. It is the turbulence that creates a virtual valve providing resistance for the patient to breathe against. Increased gas flow causes increased turbulence and so creates a higher pressure. Unlike most CPAP devices, this system requires no valves or moving parts, making it very safe, simple and economic. Bosniak CPAP works by providing continuous positive airway pressure to keep the airways open, improving oxygenation, increasing ventilation perfusion surface area, decreasing work of breathing and myocardial strain. Implementation results in decreased respiratory rate, heart rate, increased SATs and decreased fatigue and pain. CPAP raises the inspiratory pressure above atmospheric pressure and then applies positive end expiratory pressure to exhalation. It prevents atelectasis, maximises alveolar recruitment and reduces worker breathing. Conditions responsive to Bosniak CPAP include acute pulmonary edema, cardiogenic and non-cardiogenic, acute respiratory distress syndrome, bronchitis, pneumonia, COPD and asthma. There are 10 contraindications to Bosniak CPAP though. Advantages of BCPAP. Simple, lightweight, basic life support intervention. Takes two minutes to set up. Completely open system, reducing risk of barotraumas and eliminates rebreathing. Suction straight through the hole in the mask. PEEP adjusted by adjusting oxygen flow. No fancy equipment required. Disposable BCPAP. CPAP system costing less than $45. Disadvantages of BCPAP uses lots of oxygen, needs to have 15 litres to create a peep of 5 centimetres of water. Oxygen toxicity if used for extended periods of time, 
can use air for CO2 retainers after the initial resuscitative period. Even CO2 retainers need oxygen and short term high concentrations rarely cause patients to stop breathing, however hypoxia will kill them. For long transfers consider normal saline nebulizers and air mix or give the patient a break every 30 minutes. High flow rates means emptying your oxygen tank fast. Cost versus benefit calculations. Based on British figures, rapid stabilisation using the BCPAP results in significant savings of over £3,000, which is equivalent to $4,560 Australian dollars per patient. Cost of each complete BCPAP system is approximately $42. Patients benefit from rapid stabilisation recovery and prevention of admission to expensive care units. Application of BCPAP is easy and fast. BCPAP nebulizer administration is also simple. Potential roles of BCPAP in resuscitation. Pre-respiratory arrest whilst patient is still breathing. Prior to pre-hospital RSI for pre-oxygenation. On return of spontaneous ventilation in post-resuscitation care. Hey, wouldn't it be good if we could have a multi-centre BCPAP trial here in Australia? Thank you for listening. Give yourself a big pat on the back and keep up the good work.